let's say you want to deploy unified communications around the world. This is my rather lame attempt at a global illustration here, but if you want to take unified communications around the world, there's a variety of ways you can do it. The first one is you can go unified communications as a service or hosted unified communications with dial tone. Now what that means is the provider, like West, would provide the dial tone and the unified communications in a completely hosted fashion in any given country. Now the challenge is that's the most limited set of countries that people can do business in because there's a lot of rules and regulations and taxes and things to do when you do hosted unified communications plus dial tone. The second option is you could do unified communications as a service without dial tone. So if you go without dial tone, that means you and your customers and your, and your locations basically source the dial tone from a carrier in that country. So you have a separate contract with that carrier, you have a separate bill from that carrier, and it basically frees you and us up from some of the regulatory concerns of going into that country. The third option is you can go what we call Max Connect. That's our name for SIP trunking, basically. And you can have SIP trunking into an on-premise environment. So that's probably as restrictive as dial tone because basically you still, you're still subject to the same rules and regulations and taxation that you would be if you're providing dial tone in a hosted fashion. The last option is you can go completely on-prem. So on-prem you may say, well that, that sort of, that doesn't mean hosted then, right? If I'm going to go on-prem that has nothing to do with unified communications as a service. Well really you can mix and match the two and it becomes more of a hybrid scenario. So you're using unified communications as a service in the places you can, cloud you see in the places you can, but in the places you can't, or the places that the government just doesn't have rules and regulations that allow it to happen, we're gonna go ahead and go on-prem and then still manage those remotely and treat them as one big unified communications environment. So those are the four different ways to think about doing unified communications as a service or on-prem if you wanna go global. And if you want more help, just contact us at West Unified Communications.